Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we are looking at the McFarlane Halo 4 Series 3 Gabriel Thorne figure. People were really excited when they announced this, and he's a really good figure, so you guys should be happy. He stands roughly five and a half, no, five and a quarter inches tall, and the centimeter measurement is 13 and a half. And he's got a really decent paint job. The silver and the blue on there looks really good. And then they have the battle damage silver dry brushing on top. Got the little, uh, is it Majestic Team? Wow, I don't even remember. I'm pretty sure he's Majestic uh, logo right there. And that looks really good. And then the visor looks really good too with a little bit of a black accent on there. Looks really awesome. I like the head sculpt. Uh, basically, it's a really nice looking figure all around. You cannot beat the value for the price tag. It's just really good. He comes with the AR. Really nice paint job on that with grays and blacks and silvers. does have a weapons peg in there so you can put it on his back. It'll come out of the AR if you want it to. And he can hold it. Uh, you just kind of have to force it into his hand. Uh, these pegs lately have been getting stuck in there so be careful when you pull them out. You don't want to snap them off. Just give them a little bit of a twist and they shouldn't break off. They should come out. Uh, if you want to heat up the gun, although it's a harder plastic so I'm not sure how much that's going to help. But you can get the gun in, that's the technique I use, that's what I recommend you use also. Put it in backwards, halfway, and then rotate it around over the thumb. And then he's got his AR, which he can mostly hold properly. If you uh, spend a little bit of time posing this guy, you can get him to hold his gun. It's not perfect, but it's definitely close enough. And I'll post some photos at the end so you can see that. Slide that hand over the rest of the gun. Come on, do it. Like that. And there you go. It's not great, but it's not bad at all. And I just did that really quickly. You can probably do a little bit better. So that's pretty good that he can hold the gun with both hands. It's going to take a little bit of work, though. So as far as articulation goes, the head is on a double ball peg. He can look up. He can look all the way around. It looks really good. Works really well. Can't really beat that. For the shoulder we have a kind of a ball hinge, it's just really a ratcheted hinge that swivels in the torso. No bicep swivel there, the bicep swivel comes all the way down here, but that works okay. Uh, and then we have our ratcheted hinge of course there also, and a swivel in the forearm. So swivel at the top, bottom, and then we have the hinge for that joint. Same type of thing for the wrist, we have the ratchet and then the swivels on both ends. For the upper torso, or for the torso altogether, we have a double ball peg which has really good range of motion, goes all the way back, all the way forward, side to side, all the way around. A really nice torso articulation, works well, looks good. Hips, still very, very limited, uh, almost no range of motion. You get just a little bit out of this ball peg, very, very limited, hope they fix that. His seems to actually be a little bit better than some of the past figures, but it's still not great, so you're going to have to spend some time working with that. For the knees, we have the ratcheted hinge, so it'll swivel at the top of the knee, not at the bottom, and then ratchet in there. And then for the ankles, it's really the same thing as the wrist, so it's a true ball hinge, swivels here, swivels down here, and has a ratchet. And then for the toe joint, it's just a ball peg. So, really decent batch of articulation. The only thing that I don't care for is the hips, or are the hips. Otherwise, it's really good. The paint job's good, the sculpt is good. You can't beat it. I definitely recommend this guy 100%. You should probably check out Big Bad Toy Store. There's a link in the description. Grab yourself one of these before they sell out because once they sell out, he's not going to reissue them. And by he, I mean Mr. McFarlane. So get them while you can. It's a really good figure. You won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.